<sighs> What's up? I wanted to talk about a uh, phrase I've heard. <coughs> God. Um, freaking. Uh, what was it? Uh, if it's not recorded, it didn't happen. Something like that. Uh, I've done certain things, certain PRs, that I never recorded due to, well, one, I mean, there was several years ago when I was actually competing in powerlifting, and I was at my strongest at those three lifts. Uh, I didn't even have a smartphone, <laughs> so... And the only people that could record me in competition were the coaches that were, like, wrapping my knees. They were kind of preoccupied because, like, when I'd squat, my coach would pretty much tell me down, 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 and then up. So my best squats of all time have never been on video. My best bench is lost on Facebook. And my best deadlift you can't even, it was from so far away, <clears throat> it wasn't a coach, it was a, uh, the uh, athletic director, he was in the crowd, and it was so far away that you can't make out what the weights are. But, that's an, I really don't care too much about those, there are some examples, there are other things I've recorded, like, uh, and I've tried to beat like one that aggravates me. I know this doesn't mean shit to anyone, but like a 400 pound Reeves deadlift. Like, and I did it on a hex bar. Uh, <clears throat> it's a big deal for me. That's something I've been doing for a long time. Pretty much like since the first year I was training. I didn't know it was called Reeves deadlift, but I was picking up 45s by like the hub. So. And it was a big deal to me. Now, I did 400, but it video's gone. I can't freaking find it. And I can't beat it. <laughs> it's aggravating. Maybe I can beat it now, but like I also did it on the 45s of the bigger hub. And I sold those 45s. I, I just was at a point where I was believing I was quitting weight training. And I sold them. The big deep dish 45s. So I've put myself in situations where I've attempted it with 35s and I even fell to like 350, the deep dish 35s. But recently, I've beaten my one arm pull up record. Uh, I did a 215 pound one arm pull up. I weighed 205 with fully clothed, shoes, full belly, and then I grabbed a 10-pound weight and did a 215 at the end of a workout. It wasn't an arm workout. Today is an arm workout, but it was a neck, abdominal, and grip workout. So maybe there's some toll taken. But yeah, today I did the heaviest skull crushers I've ever done. I did 185 for... What I believe to be a set of 12. I, I sometimes miscount when I'm doing it. So I, I, I'm not sure. But I didn't get, like yesterday, I didn't get the one-arm pull-up on video. Because where I like to do my one-arm pull-ups, a specific pull-up bar, uh, there was a dude right in that little area. And I was on my way out anyways. I was like, alright, I want to try this real quick. I did t today and a couple other times. I've done deadlifts. I've done all sorts of different things. But like with the Skull Crushers, uh, I did not get them on video. And it's kind of hard for people to believe because I think <clears throat> the heaviest Skull Crusher set I might have on my channel, I'm not even sure, is like 135. I'm not sure, though. But the heaviest skull crushers I've ever done before today was 145. Even though like two months ago I did 135 for like a set of 10 to 15. 
didn't record it because I was like, I've, I've done, I've done this weight before. Uh, and I know I can beat it because that was relatively easy. Today, I did 185 for what I believe to be a set of 12, 50 pounds more, which on a skull crusher is a, it's a big deal. I mean, it's like, I don't know, it'd be like adding 100 pounds to your bench press and doing the same amount of reps. It's a little hard to believe. I mean, if a guy told me I did 135 for 10 to 15, and then two months later, and he's been lifting for 10 years, I did 185. That's a little hard to believe. Like, I even have a hard time believing myself. But, today, a uh, very pretty girl. And there's not many place where I can, places where I can do barbell skull crushers. I'm kind of limited on uh, just areas and the benches available. It's a, uh, I mean... Looking here, I might be able to like have a bench like that and put a lay across the two deadlift platforms <laughs> and do barbell skull crushers. But there's a lot of things I do. I don't get them on video for those reasons. Uh, so, um, I mean, if I came during the daytime. Or during normal gym hours, I'd never get like anything on video. Now, if it's like a big lift, like a big deal kind of lift, something that really matters to me, uh, like uh, like my favorite lifts, trap bar deadlift, a zercher squat, behind the back deadlift. If it's some big important lift to me. And I'm like hitting a, a really important PR, like 800 or something. And there's people around. And I don't want to re record them and be in that odd scenario. I just don't want to be caught in that potential situation. Uh, I'll ask them to hold my phone and record me. I've done it before. So, there's a attractive girl. And I was... Working up to 675, and I had her record me. It was in this very room because I was right there, and she was like doing squats, like right here. And I couldn't, recording right here, I just couldn't get the full view. And if I normally I'll record over here, but I would have been getting. Girl, booty, squatting, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be that guy. So, yeah, I asked her. Sometimes, if it's like a big important lift, if it's not, it's something I'm like, I'll beat it in two months, and I know I will, I won't record. Like the Skull Crushers, the 185 for 12, I'll beat that. Unless I get, like, injured and all that, but... Other than that, next time I'll do freaking, I don't know, 195 or 205. We'll see how it goes. I won't make as big of a jump. It's just when I did 135, it was easy. Today, though, 185, I didn't go full to failure because it was skull crushers. <laughs> but I was close there. I think I had about two more reps in me. So... Uh, if I have like a spotter of some sort next time, I'll go for 205 to make sure it doesn't smash my skull.